In the vast reaches of our solar system, a remarkable mission is unfolding that was launched on August the 5th, 2011, when the spacecraft Juno started its 1.7 billion mile journey that lasted five years to the king of planets, Jupiter. Now approaching its eighth year in orbits around Jupiter, this groundbreaking mission has been extended with new mission goals. So let's look at some of the breathtaking images we have captured specifically from what is called the Juno Cam and seek to understand what the extended mission hopes to accomplish. As with all NASA missions, the naming of them tends to highlight some of the historical nuances associated with the object under the spotlight, and Juno is no exception. In Roman mythology, Juno was the wife of the Roman god Jupiter and possessed the remarkable ability to penetrate the vows of deception that Jupiter used to conceal his extramarital activities. It seems apt then that the mission should be named Juno as it attempts to penetrate through the planet's dense clouds to help us understand the planet's composition, structure, magnetic field, atmospheric dynamics and other key aspects of its nature. Conceived in 2003 and developed up until its launch, Juno is a remarkable feat of engineering. For example, one of the mission critical aspects for data gathering is due to its unique orbit at 2,600 miles above the cloud tops. However, this puts the spacecraft in a vulnerable position due to the intense radiation surrounding the planet. Radiation that is tens of thousands of times more intense than that around Earth, as it is primarily composed of electrons, protons and ions accelerated to high energies by the planet's magnetic field, which is a staggering 20,000 times stronger than Earth's. As you could imagine, this poses a huge problem for the sensitive electronics equipment Juno would be carrying. To survive then in such an environment meant that NASA engineers had to design a titanium radiation vault to carry all the vulnerable components to shield them from this radiation and allowing them to survive these harsh conditions. In doing so, Juno is able to study Jupiter's magnetic field, auroras and atmosphere in unprecedented detail and provide scientists with a wealth of data to unravel the planet's mysteries. The Juno spacecraft is equipped with a suite of scientific instruments designed to study Jupiter's composition, gravity field and magnetic field. These instruments have enabled us to measure the planet's deep interior and understand its structure. Among Juno's impressive instrument suites is the Juno Cam. This is a high resolution visible light camera that allows Juno to capture images of Jupiter's swirling clouds and turbulent storms with the images being simply breathtaking. The shadow of the moon Io passes over the planet. It was taken at about 4,885 miles above the planet and the image shows the 2,200 miles wide shadow of Io as it races across Jupiter's cloud tops. Skimming 3,200 miles above Jupiter's cloud tops, this image of a band of swirling clouds in Jupiter's northern latitudes shows pop-up storms rising above the lighter areas of the clouds, most notably on the right side of the image. Juno was 8,292 miles above the planet when it took this image of the northern hemisphere where you can see turbulent clouds being mixed together in this colour enhanced image. On its 38th flyby and travelling at a speed of 123,000 miles per hour, Juno took this image of two Jovian moons of Callisto with Io just above it. The clouds you can see on Jupiter are swirling hurricane storms which are over 30 miles in height and hundreds of miles across. Probably Jupiter's most recognisable feature is its red spot. First observed in the 17th century, today we notice a storm on Jupiter that has been raging for centuries, with the spot itself rotating anti-clockwise at a speed of 225 miles per hour. Data from Juno has further helped in our understanding 
as it has shown that this feature extends far deeper into Jupiter's atmosphere than scientists previously thought, at about 300 miles below the cloud tops. Taken at an altitude of 3,815 miles, you are looking at two storms raging in Jupiter's clouds. In the image of the lower storm, you can see pop-up clouds forming as they cast shadows on the cloud bank below. These clouds may look small as they are dwarfed by the larger storms they are within, but they are typically 31 miles across. Juno was travelling at 85,000 miles an hour when it took this image whilst leaving from its flyby. The image is of the southern hemisphere and shows massive cyclones near the South Pole, chaotic clouds of the folded filamentary region with a turbulent area between the orange band and the brownish polar region. Leaving Juno's gallery of images for now, I shall finish with this, which showcases the colours and majesty of Jupiter in all his glory, where you can clearly see massive storm swirls and bands as the atmosphere is mixed in a cauldron of agitation. Juno's original mission lasted until July 2021, and in recognition of its remarkable success, NASA and its mission team made the decision to extend Juno's journey until September 2025 with an additional 42 orbits. This has given us additional time to study the whole of the Jovian system, and so now includes flybys of some of Jupiter's fascinating moons, Ganymede, Europa and Io as well as delving deeper into Jupiter's atmosphere by conducting detailed observations of the planet's auroras, atmospheric storms and lightning. Additionally, the extended mission will further explore Jupiter's colossal magnetic field to help unravel the mechanisms responsible for generating and sustaining them. Let's hope Juno is able to survive in this harsh environment until September 2025 when this extended mission is due to end, so that further breathtaking images can be taken along with data from other pieces of onboard equipment which can help us peel back our understanding of the killing of planets further. Until next time, thank you for watching, and if you liked what you have seen, then please consider liking and subscribing, as this will help a small channel like this with the YouTube algorithm. Your support is as always greatly appreciated.